Hey everybody, this is Dave Begdale, learningdslrvideo.com. So you want to be part of the cool crowd, right? It might work for cameras and it might also work for NLEs because the reason is you're using your nonlinear editor, your software editing package, you run into a problem or you run into a situation where like, I know it can do this, but how do I do this? So what do you do? You go to YouTube and you type in your NLE name and the problem you're having and somebody's probably been very nice created a tutorial or shared their experience on how to get around the problem you're having. So yeah, it's actually pretty good to be part of the cool crowd or the popular crowd, whatever you're using. So what I wanted to do is survey uh, my audience. Um, so I went out and I created a Google moderated survey and I will be the first one to admit um, I kind of blew it on this one. I should have done it totally differently. Um, but I got over a thousand people to vote and I got some results and I think they're pretty good. And I promise you I'll, I'll redo this maybe in a year from now and, and I'll do it in a better format because I know you guys are going to nitpick the results to pieces because I didn't do it properly. And I, I will admit I didn't do it that well. So let's go through the breakdown. All right, so we got Premiere Pro at 63%. Final Cut Pro at 20%, Sony Vegas Pro at 14%, and Avid Media Composer at 3%. Now what I've done here is I've lumped all of the Pro packages together because there were lots of different versions. And I, what I wanted to do first is just look at kind of the breakdown in terms of the, the software manufacturer. Um, so, you know, <laughs> Premiere Pro has got a big audience. And that kind of makes sense because it's available not only on the PC platform, but the Mac platform as well. So next up is a pie chart showing all the NLEs and all the different versions. Um, if you're interested, you can actually buy like a $6,000 report that has 90 pages in it from some company on the survey that they did of an NLE. Um, again, I just want to reiterate that I didn't do the best job implementing this, but I think you get a pretty good idea what everybody else is using from the perspective of people that are coming to my website. Because I think, I don't know for sure, I've never used it before, but you know, the podcast that I listen to, it sounds like Avid is used by pretty high-end professionals like in, that do TV shows it's, or live broadcast type stuff. I don't even know. But uh, you know, I'm guessing not many high-end professionals are watching my channel. So it's gonna be skewed by, by quite a bit. All right, going back to the idea that people make tutorials online might be a good indication of, you know, what the user base is. So what I did is I went and did some searches for uh, tutorials, and this is kind of very generic. These seem like high numbers. They're probably not that high because it's all encompassing, but I did search for like Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. So starting at the top, um, the winner is Sony Vegas coming at 41 million, Premiere Pro 34 million, Final Cut Pro 17 million, Avid Media Composer less than a million, and then Grass Valley coming in uh, very, very distant. Not too many people are making tutorials on that, unfortunately. So, you know, Sony Vegas, I started on Sony Vegas many years ago and I loved it. It was great. But when I got to my first DSLR, I uh, really had a tough time with that Kodak and I had a tough time putting in like more than 60, 70 clips in the timeline. It would just kind of throw up, it would just barf and it would crash. Um, and that's why I moved to Premiere. That's back about the time the Mercury playback engine came out and I switched over to Premiere and I've just stayed there ever since. All right, so the last thing I did is I wanted to measure kind of the interest level and Google Trends has kind of this interest level type of graph you can pull. So I just typed into the names and this is kind of what came up and it's kind of similar to the pie chart that I showed you earlier. Got Premiere on top, got um, Apple, and then we got Sony Vegas. So what does this all mean? Um, it just basically means that I know you guys better. So when I make tutorials and do stuff like that, um, I'll be able to make stuff better for you guys. So thanks for answering the survey if you did. Um, it's still live. You can go and, and click on it. I, you know, Like I said, next year I will definitely do this in a better, well-constructed manner. So, all right, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.